Armenians Armenian, Haya, Haya, HJ, are an ethnic group native to the Armenian highlands. Armenians constitute the main population of Armenia and the de facto independent Artsakh. There is a wide ranging diaspora of around 5 million people of full or partial Armenian ancestry living outside modern Armenia. The largest Armenian populations today exist in Russia, the United States, France, Georgia, Iran, Germany, Ukraine, Lebanon, Brazil and Syria. With the exceptions of Iran and the former Soviet states, the present-day Armenian diaspora was formed mainly as a result of the Armenian Genocide. Most Armenians adhere to the Armenian Apostolic Church, a non-Chalcedonian church, which is also the world's oldest national church. Christianity began to spread in Armenia soon after Jesus's death, due to the efforts of two of his apostles, Saint Thaddeus and Saint Bartholomew. In the early 4th century, the Kingdom of Armenia became the first state to adopt Christianity as a state religion. Armenian is an Indo European language. It has two mutually intelligible and written forms, Eastern Armenian, today spoken mainly in Armenia, Artsakh, Iran, and the former Soviet republics, and Western Armenian, used in the historical Western Armenia and, after the Armenian Genocide, primarily in the Armenian diasporan communities. The unique Armenian alphabet was invented in 405 AD by Mesrop Mashtots. Topic Etymology Historically, the name Armenian has come to internationally designate this group of people. It was first used by neighboring countries of ancient Armenia. The earliest attestations of the Exonym Armenia date around the 6th century BC. In his trilingual Behistun inscription dated to 517 BC, Darius I the Great of Persia refers to Eurashto in Babylonian as Armina in Old Persian, Armina and Harmonia in Elamite. In Greek, Armen Armenians is attested from about the same time, perhaps the earliest reference being a fragment attributed to Hecateus of Miletus 476 BC. Xenophon, a Greek general serving in some of the Persian expeditions, describes many aspects of Armenian village life and hospitality in around 401 BC. He relates that the people spoke a language that to his ear sounded like the language of the Persians. Armenians call themselves Hay, Hay pronounced Hajj, plural, Hay -ha a the name has traditionally been derived from Haik, Haik the legendary patriarch of the Armenians and a great-great-grandson of Noah, who, according to Moses of Karin, defeated the Babylonian king Bel in 2492 BC and established his nation in the Ararat region. It is also further postulated that the name Hay comes from one of the two confederated, Hittite vassal states, the Hayasa Azi Movsas Korenatsi, the important early medieval Armenian historian, wrote that the word Armenian originated from the name Armenic or Aram, the descendant of Haik. Topic: History. Topic: Origin. The Armenian highland is the area surrounding Mount Ararat, the highest peak of the region. A controversial hypothesis put forward by some scholars, such as T. Gamkralidze and V. Ivanov, has proposed that the Indo-European homeland was around the Armenian highland. The modern Armenian language is often grouped with Greek and ancient Macedonian, Helino-Macedonian. In the Pontic Indo-European, also called Helino-Armenian, subgroup of Indo-European languages by Eric P. Hamp in his 2012 Indo-European Family Tree groups, there are two possible explanations, not mutually exclusive, for a common origin of the Armenian and Greek languages. 
Ancient Greek scholars, such as Herodotus writing circa 440 BC, suggest that the Phrygians of western Anatolia, who spoke an Indo-European language, had also made a contribution to the ethnogenesis of the Armenians. The Armenians were equipped like Phrygians, being Phrygian colonists. 7.73 Armenoi de Catarpa Phrygias Essesorchato Eontes Phrygon. This appears to imply that some Phrygians migrated eastward to Armenia following the destruction of Phrygia by a Sumerian invasion in the late 7th century BC. Greek scholars also believed that the Phrygians had originated in the Balkans, in an area adjoining Macedonia, from where they had emigrated to Anatolia many centuries earlier. In Hamp's view the homeland of the proposed Greco-Armenian subgroup is the northeast coast of the Black Sea and its hinterlands. He assumes that they migrated from there southeast through the Caucasus with the Armenians remaining after Batumi while the pre-Greeks proceeded westwards along the southern coast of the Black Sea. Some genetic studies explain Armenian diversity by several mixtures of Eurasian populations that occurred between approximately 3000 and approximately 2000 BC. But genetic signals of population mixture cease after approximately 1200 BC when Bronze Age civilizations in the eastern Mediterranean world suddenly and violently collapsed. Armenians have since remained isolated and genetic structure within the population developed approximately 500 years ago when Armenia was divided between the Ottomans and the Safavid Empire in Iran. In the Bronze Age, several states flourished in the area of Greater Armenia, including the Hittite Empire at the height of its power, Mitanni, southwestern historical Armenia, and Hayasa Azi (1600–1200 BC). Soon after Hayasa Azi came Amshupriya 1300s-1190 BC, the Nairi 1400-1000 BC and the kingdom of Uradu 860-590 BC, who successively established their sovereignty over the Armenian highland. Each of the aforementioned nations and tribes participated in the ethnogenesis of the Armenian people. Under Ashurbanipal (669–627 BC), the Assyrian Empire reached the Caucasus Mountains, modern Armenia, Georgia, and Azerbaijan. Yerevan, the modern capital of Armenia, was founded in 782 BC by King Argishti I. Topic: Antiquity. The first geographical entity that was called Armenia by neighboring peoples such as by Hecateus of Miletus and on the Achaemenid Behistun inscription was established in the late 6th century BC under the Arontid dynasty within the Achaemenid Persian Empire as part of the latter's territories, and which later became a kingdom. At its zenith 95 BC, the state extended from the Caucasus all the way to what is now central Turkey, Lebanon, and northern Iran. The imperial reign of Tigranes the Great is thus the span of time during which Armenia itself conquered areas populated by other peoples. The Arsacid Kingdom of Armenia, itself a branch of the Arsacid dynasty of Parthia, was the first state to adopt Christianity as its religion it had formerly been adherent to Armenian paganism, which was influenced by Zoroastrianism, while later on adopting a few elements regarding identification of its pantheon with Greco-Roman deities. In the early years of the 4th century, likely AD 301, partly in defiance of the Sassanids it seems. In the late Parthian period, Armenia was a predominantly Zoroastrian adhering land, but by the Christianization, previously predominant Zoroastrianism and paganism in Armenia gradually declined. Later on, in order to further strengthen Armenian national identity, Mesrop Mashtots invented the Armenian alphabet, in 405 AD. This event ushered the Golden Age of Armenia, during which many foreign books and manuscripts were translated to Armenian by Mesrop's pupils. 
Armenia lost its sovereignty again in 428 AD to the rivaling Byzantine and Sassanid Persian empires, until the Muslim conquest of Persia overran also the regions in which Armenians lived. <inaudible> <inaudible> Middle Ages In 885 AD the Armenians re-established themselves as a sovereign kingdom under the leadership of Ashot I of the Bagratid dynasty. A considerable portion of the Armenian nobility and peasantry fled the Byzantine occupation of Bagratid Armenia in 1045, and the subsequent invasion of the region by Seljuk Turks in 1064. They settled in large numbers in Cilicia, an Anatolian region where Armenians were already established as a minority since Roman times. In 1080, they founded an independent Armenian principality then Kingdom of Cilicia, which became the focus of Armenian nationalism. The Armenians developed close social, cultural, military, and religious ties with nearby Crusader states, but eventually succumbed to Mamluk invasions. In the next few centuries, Genghis Khan, Timurids, and the tribal Turkic federations of the Ak Koyunlu and the Kara Koyunlu ruled over the Armenians. <laughs> Early modern history From the early 16th century, both Western Armenia and Eastern Armenia fell under Iranian Safavid rule. Owing to the century-long Turco-Iranian geo-political rivalry that would last in Western Asia, significant parts of the region were frequently fought over between the two rivaling empires. From the mid-16th century with the Peace of Amasya, and decisively from the first half of the 17th century with the Treaty of Zahab until the first half of the 19th century, Eastern Armenia was ruled by the successive Iranian Safavid, Afsharid and Qajar empires, while Western Armenia remained under Ottoman rule. In the late 1820s, the parts of historic Armenia under Iranian control centering on Yerevan and Lake Seven all of eastern Armenia were incorporated into the Russian Empire following Iran's forced ceding of the territories after its loss in the Russo-Persian War 1826 and the outcoming Treaty of Turkmenche. Western Armenia however, remained in Ottoman hands. Topic. Modern history The ethnic cleansing of Armenians during the final years of the Ottoman Empire is widely considered a genocide, resulting in an estimated 1.5 million victims. The first wave of persecution was in the years 1894–1896, the second one culminating in the events of the Armenian Genocide in 1915 and 1916. With World War I in progress, the Ottoman Empire accused the Christian Armenians as liable to ally with Imperial Russia, and used it as a pretext to deal with the entire Armenian population as an enemy within their empire. Governments of the Republic of Turkey since that time have consistently rejected charges of genocide, typically arguing either that those Armenians who died were simply in the way of a war, or that killings of Armenians were justified by their individual or collective support for the enemies of the Ottoman Empire. Passage of legislation in various foreign countries, condemning the persecution of the Armenians as genocide, has often provoked diplomatic conflict. See recognition of the Armenian. Genocide. Following the breakup of the Russian Empire in the aftermath of World War I for a brief period, from 1918 to 1920, Armenia was an independent republic. In late 1920, the Communists came to power following an invasion of Armenia by the Red Army. In 1922, Armenia became part of the Transcaucasian SFSR of the Soviet Union, later on forming the Armenian Soviet Socialist Republic, 1936 to the 21st of September 1991. In 1991, Armenia declared independence from the USSR and established the Second Republic of Armenia. Topic. Geographic distribution
Topic: Armenia. Armenians have had a presence in the Armenian highland for over 4,000 years, since the time when Haik, the legendary patriarch and founder of the first Armenian nation, led them to victory over Bel of Babylon. Today, with a population of 3.5 million, they not only constitute an overwhelming majority in Armenia, but also in the disputed region of Artsakh. Armenians in the diaspora informally refer to them as Hayastansis, Hayastanki meaning those that are from Armenia that is, those born and raised in Armenia. They, as well as the Armenians of Iran and Russia speak the Eastern dialect of the Armenian language. The country itself is secular as a result of Soviet domination, but most of its citizens identify themselves as Apostolic Armenian Christian. Diaspora Small Armenian trading and religious communities have existed outside Armenia for centuries. For example, a community survived for over a millennium in the Holy Land, and one of the four quarters of the walled old city of Jerusalem has been called the Armenian Quarter. An Armenian Catholic monastic community of 35 founded in 1717 exists on an island near Venice, Italy. There are also remnants of formerly populous communities in India, Myanmar, Thailand, Belgium, Portugal, Italy, Israel, Poland, Austria, Hungary, Bulgaria, Romania, Serbia, Ethiopia, Sudan and Egypt. Regardless, most of the modern day's diaspora consists of Armenians scattered throughout the world as a direct consequence of the genocide of 1915, constituting the main portion of the Armenian diaspora. However, Armenian communities in the Georgian capital city of Tbilisi, in Syria and in Iran existed since antiquity. Within the diasporan Armenian community, there is an unofficial classification of the different kinds of Armenians. For example, Armenians who originate from Iran are referred to as Paskahe, Paskahe, while Armenians from Lebanon are usually referred to as Lipananahe. Lebanese. Armenians of the diaspora are the primary speakers of the Western dialect of the Armenian language. This dialect has considerable differences with Eastern Armenian, but speakers of either of the two variations can usually understand each other. Eastern Armenian in the diaspora is primarily spoken in Iran and European countries such as Ukraine, Russia, and Georgia where they form a majority in the Samska Javakheti province. In diverse communities, such as in Canada and the US, where many different kinds of Armenians live together, there is a tendency for the different groups to cluster together. Topic: Culture. Topic: Religion. Before Christianity, Armenians adhered to Armenian paganism, a type of indigenous polytheism that stemmed from the Uradu period but which adopted several Greco Roman and Iranian religious characteristics. In 301 AD, Armenia adopted Christianity as a state religion, becoming the first state to do so. The claim is primarily based on the 5th century work of Agathangelos titled, The History of the Armenians. Agathangelos witnessed at first hand the baptism of the Armenian king Tradart III c. 301 AD by Saint Gregory the Illuminator. Tradart III decreed Christianity was the state religion. Armenia established a church that still exists independently of both the Catholic and the Eastern Orthodox churches, having become so in 451 AD as a result of its stance regarding the Council of Chalcedon. Today this church is known as the Armenian Apostolic Church, which is a part of the Oriental Orthodox Communion, not to be confused with the Eastern Orthodox Communion. During its later political eclipses, Armenia depended on the church to preserve and protect its unique identity. The original location of the Armenian Catholic Osate is Ekmiadzin. 
However, the continuous upheavals, which characterized the political scenes of Armenia, made the political power move to safer places. The church center moved as well to different locations together with the political authority. Therefore, it eventually moved to Cilicia as the Holy See of Cilicia. The Armenians' collective has, at times, constituted a Christian island in a mostly Muslim region. There is, however, a minority of ethnic Armenian Muslims, known as Hamshenis, but many Armenians view them as a separate race, while the history of the Jews in Armenia dates back 2,000 years. The Armenian Kingdom of Cilicia had close ties to European Crusader states. Later on, the deteriorating situation in the region led the bishops of Armenia to elect a Catholicos in Etchmiadzin, the original seat of the Catholicosate. In 1441, a new Catholicos was elected in Etchmiadzin in the person of Karakos Viropetsi, while Krikor Musapijians preserved his title as Catholicos of Cilicia. Therefore, since 1441, there have been two Catholicosates in the Armenian Church with equal rights and privileges, and with their respective jurisdictions. The primacy of honor of the Catholicosate of Etchmiadzin has always been recognized by the Catholicosate of Cilicia, while the Armenian Apostolic Church remains the most prominent church in the Armenian community throughout the world. Armenians, especially in the diaspora, subscribe to any number of other Christian denominations. These include the Armenian Catholic Church which follows its own liturgy but recognizes the Roman Catholic Pope, the Armenian Evangelical Church, which started as a reformation in the Mother Church but later broke away, and the Armenian Brotherhood Church, which was born in the Armenian Evangelical Church, but later broke apart from it. There are other numerous Armenian churches belonging to Protestant denominations of all kinds. Through the ages many Armenians have collectively belonged to other faiths or Christian movements, including the Paulicians which is a form of Gnostic and Manichaean Christianity. Paulicians sought to restore the pure Christianity of Paul and in c.660 founded the first congregation in Kabosa, Armenia. Another example is the Tondrakians, who flourished in medieval Armenia between the early 9th century and 11th century. Tondrakians advocated the abolishment of the church, denied the immortality of the soul, did not believe in an afterlife, supported property rights for peasants, and equality between men and women. The Orthodox Armenians or the Chalcedonian Armenians in the Byzantine Empire were called Iberians, Georgians, or Greeks. See Gregory Pacoarianos, the great Byzantine general. Their descendants are the Hayhurim and Catholic Armenians in Georgia. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Language and Literature. Armenian is a sub-branch of the Indo-European family, and with some 8 million speakers, one of the smallest surviving branches, comparable to Albanian or the somewhat more widely spoken Greek, with which it may be connected. See Greco-Armenian. Today, that branch has just one language, Armenian. Five million Eastern Armenian speakers live in the Caucasus, Russia, and Iran, and approximately two to three million people in the rest of the Armenian diaspora speak Western Armenian. According to U.S. Census figures, there are 300,000 Americans who speak Armenian at home. It is in fact the 20th most commonly spoken language in the United States, having slightly fewer speakers than Haitian Creole, and slightly more than Navajo. Armenian literature dates back to 400 AD, when Mesrop Mashtots first invented the Armenian alphabet. This period of time is often viewed as the golden age of Armenian literature. Early Armenian literature was written by the father of Armenian history, Moses of Karin, who authored the history of Armenia. The book covers the time frame from the formation of the Armenian people to the 5th century AD. The 19th century beheld a great literary movement that was to give rise to modern Armenian literature. 
This period of time, during which Armenian culture flourished, is known as the Revival Period the revivalist authors of Constantinople and Tiflis, almost identical to the Romanticists of Europe, were interested in encouraging Armenian nationalism. Most of them adopted the newly created Eastern or Western variants of the Armenian language depending on the targeted audience, and preferred them over classical Armenian grabar. This period ended after the Hamidian massacres, when Armenians experienced turbulent times. As Armenian history of the 1920s and of the genocide came to be more openly discussed, writers like Paruir Savak, Gevork Emin, Silva Kaputikyan and Hovshans Shiraz began a new era of literature. <laughs> <laughs> Architecture The first Armenian churches were built on the orders of Saint Gregory the Illuminator, and were often built on top of pagan temples, and imitated some aspects of Armenian pre-Christian architecture. Classical and medieval Armenian architecture is divided into four separate periods. The first Armenian churches were built between the 4th and 7th century, beginning when Armenia converted to Christianity, and ending with the Arab invasion of Armenia. The early churches were mostly simple basilicas, but some with side apses. By the 5th century the typical cupola cone in the center had become widely used. By the 7th century, centrally planned churches had been built and a more complicated niche buttress and radiating ripsime style had formed. By the time of the Arab invasion, most of what we now know as classical Armenian architecture had formed. From the 9th to 11th century, Armenian architecture underwent a revival under the patronage of the Bagratid dynasty with a great deal of building done in the area of Lake Van, this included both traditional styles and new innovations. Ornately carved Armenian kachkars were developed during this time. Many new cities and churches were built during this time, including a new capital at Lake Van and a new cathedral on Akdamar Island to match. The Cathedral of Arni was also completed during this dynasty. It was during this time that the first major monasteries, such as Hakpat and Harachavank were built. This period was ended by the Seljuk invasion. <laughs> Sports Many types of sports are played in Armenia, among the most popular being football, chess, boxing, basketball, hockey, sambo, wrestling, weightlifting and volleyball. Since independence, the Armenian government has been actively rebuilding its sports program in the country. During Soviet rule, Armenian athletes rose to prominence winning plenty of medals and helping the USSR win the medal standings at the Olympics on numerous occasions. The first medal won by an Armenian in modern Olympic history was by Ron Shahinian, who won two golds and two silvers in gymnastics at the 1952 Summer Olympics in Helsinki. In football, their most successful team was Yerevan's FC Ararat, which had claimed most of the Soviet championships in the 70s and had also gone to post victories against professional clubs like FC Bayern Munich in the Euro Cup. Armenians have also been successful in chess, which is the most popular mind sport in Armenia. Some of the most prominent chess players in the world are Armenians such as Tigran Petrosian, Levon Aronian and Garry Kasparov. Armenians have also been successful in weightlifting and wrestling Armen Nazarian, winning medals in each sport at the Olympics. There are also successful Armenians in football, Henrik Mikatarian, boxing, Arthur Abraham and Vic Darchinian. Topic: Music and dance. Armenian music is a mix of indigenous folk music, perhaps best represented by Jivan Gasparian's well-known Duduk music, as well as light pop and extensive Christian music. Instruments like the duduk, the dal, the zurna, and the kanan are commonly found in Armenian folk music. 
Artists such as Syat Nova are famous due to their influence in the development of Armenian folk music. One of the oldest types of Armenian music is the Armenian chant which is the most common kind of religious music in Armenia. Many of these chants are ancient in origin, extending to pre-Christian times, while others are relatively modern, including several composed by Saint Mesrop Mashtots, the inventor of the Armenian alphabet. Whilst under Soviet rule, Armenian classical music composer Aram Kachaturian became internationally well known for his music, for various ballets and the sabre dance from his composition for the ballet Gayane. The Armenian genocide caused widespread emigration that led to the settlement of Armenians in various countries in the world. Armenians kept to their traditions and certain diasporans rose to fame with their music. In the post-genocide Armenian community of the United States, the so-called KEF style Armenian dance music, using Armenian and Middle Eastern folk instruments often electrified, amplified and some Western instruments, was popular. This style preserved the folk songs and dances of Western Armenia, and many artists also played the contemporary popular songs of Turkey and other Middle Eastern countries from which the Armenians emigrated. Richard Hagopian is perhaps the most famous artist of the traditional KEF style and the Vozbekian band was notable in the 40s and 50s for developing their own style of KEF music heavily influenced by the popular American big band jazz of the time. Later, stemming from the Middle Eastern Armenian diaspora and influenced by continental European especially French pop music, the Armenian pop music genre grew to fame in the 60s and 70s with artists such as Addis Harmandian and Haralt Pambujian performing to the Armenian diaspora and Armenia. Also with artists such as Sarusho, performing pop music combined with Armenian folk music in today's entertainment industry. Other Armenian diasporans that rose to fame in classical or international music circles are world-renowned French-Armenian singer and composer Charles Aznavour, pianist Sahan Asruni, prominent opera sopranos such as Hasmik Papin and more recently Isabel Bayrakdarian and Anna Cassian. Certain Armenians settled to sing non-Armenian tunes such as the heavy metal band System of a Down which nonetheless often incorporates traditional Armenian instrumentals and styling into their songs or pop star share. Ruben Hakobian Ruben is a well-recognized Armenian ethnographic and patriotic folk singer who has achieved widespread national recognition due to his devotion to Armenian folk music and exceptional talent. In the Armenian diaspora, Armenian revolutionary songs are popular with the youth. These songs encourage Armenian patriotism and are generally about Armenian history and national heroes. <laughs> Carpet weaving Carpet weaving is historically a major traditional profession for the majority of Armenian women, including many Armenian families. Prominent Karabakh carpet weavers there were men too. The oldest extant Armenian carpet from the region, referred to as Artsakh see also Karabakh carpet, during the medieval era, is from the village of Banans near Ganzak and dates to the early 13th century. The first time that the Armenian word for carpet gorge, was used in historical sources was in a 1242–1243 Armenian inscription on the wall of the Kaptavan church in Artsakh. Common themes and patterns found on Armenian carpets were the depiction of dragons and eagles. They were diverse in style, rich in color and ornamental motifs, and were even separated in categories depending on what sort of animals were depicted on them, such as artsvagorgs, eagle carpets, visharpagorgs, dragon carpets, and otsagorgs, serpent carpets. The rug mentioned in the Kaptavan inscriptions is composed of three arches, covered with vegetative ornaments. 
and bears an artistic resemblance to the illuminated manuscripts produced in Artsakh. The art of carpet weaving was in addition intimately connected to the making of curtains, as evidenced in a passage by Karakos Gan Zakatsi, a 13th century Armenian historian from Artsakh, who praised Arzu Katan, the wife of regional prince Vaktan Karkanatsi, and her daughters for their expertise and skill in weaving. Armenian carpets were also renowned by foreigners who traveled traveled to Artsakh, the Arab geographer and historian al Masudi noted that, among other works of art, he had never seen such carpets elsewhere in his life. Cuisine <coughs> 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 Koravats, an Armenian-styled barbecue, is arguably the favorite Armenian dish. Lavash is a very popular Armenian flatbread, and Armenian paklava is a popular dessert made from phyllo dough. Other famous Armenian foods include the kebab, a skewer of marinated roasted meat and vegetables, various dolmas, minced lamb, or beef meat and rice wrapped in grape leaves, cabbage leaves, or stuffed into hollowed vegetables, and pilaf, a rice dish. Also, gapama, a rice stuffed pumpkin dish, and many different salads are popular in Armenian culture. Fruits play a large part in the Armenian diet. Apricots Prunus armeniaca, also known as Armenian plum, have been grown in Armenia for centuries and have a reputation for having an especially good flavor. Peaches are popular as well, as are grapes, figs, pomegranates, and melons. Preserves are made from many fruits, including cornelian cherries, young walnuts, sea buckthorn, mulberries, sour cherries, and many others. Institutions The Armenian Apostolic Church, the world's oldest national church, the Armenian General Benevolent Union AGBU, founded in 1906 and the largest Armenian non-profit organization in the world, with educational, cultural and humanitarian projects on all continents The Armenian Revolutionary Federation, founded in 1890 it is generally referred to as the Dashnaktsuchun, which means federation in Armenian. The ARF is the strongest worldwide Armenian political organization and the only diasporan Armenian organization with a significant political presence in Armenia. Hamaskian, an Armenian cultural and educational society founded in Cairo in 1928, and responsible for the founding of Armenian secondary schools and institutions of higher education in several countries The Armenian Catholic Church, representing small communities of Armeno Catholics in different countries around the world, as well as important monastic and cultural institutions in Venice and Vienna Homenetman, an Armenian scouting and athletic organization founded in 1910 with a worldwide membership of about 25,000 The Armenian Relief Society, founded in 1910 Notable people See also Peoples of the Caucasus Hemshan peoples Haik Hidden Armenians <laughs>